Please bow your heads now for today's invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, as the Tampa Catholic class of 2020 celebrates their virtual graduation ceremony today, we thank you for your blessings which have made their graduation possible. Especially do we praise you for the support and prayers of their parents, the patience of their teachers, and the fellowship of their classmates. Lord, you have given them the mental gifts and the physical health to achieve the goal that they have reached, and you have blessed their efforts with success. Lord, help these graduates to use their talents and gifts for your glory and for the betterment of the human race so that they may give a good accounting of their stewardship. And we ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly. Streaming and the rockets regular, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? the lands of the free and the home of the brave. Greetings, I'm Sharice Edwards, the Vice Principal of Tampa Catholic High School. It is my honor and pleasure to welcome you to Tampa Catholic's 56 commencement ceremony. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues, parents, families of the graduates, and all who have come to honor our graduates. The Salutatorian Address. The Salutatorian is the senior with the second highest grade point average as calculated at the end of the eighth semester of high school. It is my pleasure to announce that this honor has been attained by Catherine Pato O'Neill. She earned a cumulative GPA of 4.59. Catherine is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. James O'Neill. Catherine is a National Merit Commended Scholar, an AP Scholar with Distinction, a recipient of the President's Education Award for Excellence, and has earned the Bright Futures Florida Academic Scholar Award. As a recipient of a full Army ROTC scholarship, Catherine will pursue a major in international economics at the University of Notre Dame. I now present the salutatorian of the class of 2020, Catherine Pato O'Neill. Mr. Lees, members of Tampa Catholic administration, faculty and staff, family, friends, and my fellow graduates, thank you for joining us today. First, let me begin by saying how honored I am to be delivering this speech. I am truly grateful to my family, friends, and teachers for always believing me and pushing me to do my best. Now, to my fellow graduates. August 10th, 2016 was the first day we were students on Tampa Catholic's campus. Our parents joined the car line, dropping us off in the courtyard and wishing us luck, probably embarrassing us in some way or another. We looked around us and we were surrounded by people and buildings. And they were just that, people and buildings. 
On May 15, 2020, we drove through Tampa Catholic's car line for the last time as students. We looked around us and we were surrounded by people and buildings, but now they were family and home. Within our four years here, we have experienced life in between these walls. We have run down the hallways at 8.09 a.m. hoping we won't be late to homeroom. We have wondered if time works differently in North Building because has anyone actually heard the bell ring in the stairwell? We have succeeded and we have failed in these buildings time and time again. And if I had a nickel for every time I've heard someone say, wait, we have a formative today while walking to class, I would be rich. As freshmen, we quickly realized the three best days of the week, Stromboli Day, Empanada Day, and Chicken Tender Day. We stood and watched the seniors cut us in line and we looked forward to the day we would be able to do that. And before we knew it, it was here. So, as we drove by on May 15th, we looked at North Building and remembered our English and history classes. We remembered the smell of coffee wafting out of Miss Yingling's room and the fear when we realized we forgot our belts as we walked into Mr. Felt's class. We passed Center Building where we got deans from Mrs. Norton and cultivated our relationship with God by praying for an A in math class. When we received our caps, gowns, and cords, we looked to our right to South Building and reflected on our time conjugating Spanish and French verbs, creating pots, painting, and taking notes in our science classes. We have each created so many memories here at Tampa Catholic and could spend all day laughing and reminiscing on our time together. Unfortunately, our time at Tampa Catholic has come to a close. These four years have passed by in the blink of an eye, but our memories from this place will live forever. We have grown here, and we have developed into amazing young men and women, capable of accomplishing anything we set our minds to. Here, we've learned about trigonometry, about ethos, logos, and pathos. We've learned about the bones of the body, our political system, the difference between poor and para, and the importance of faith. However, the most important lessons we have learned from TC are not things taught in a classroom. They are the things we have gained from our experiences and relationships with the people here. In a year, you won't remember failing a math test or the grade you got on your Hamlet essay, but you will remember the people who offered you a shoulder to cry on, the people who jumped and screamed alongside you at football games while covered in green powder, the people who could make you laugh with one glance, the people who told you that you mean something, the people who have been by your side day in and day out for these last four years. As we left campus that Friday, our choice was to turn left or right. Every decision you have made in high school has brought you to this exact moment, prepared you for your future. So will you go left or will you go right? No matter which direction you choose, you can always drive back home to Rome. Thank you, Tampa Catholic, for the best four years I could have asked for. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. Thank you. We are now pleased to introduce the candidates for graduation from the class of 2020. Danielle Sarah Abood. Allison Marie Adamy. Andrew Salvatore Alvarez Max Michael Alvarez Veronica Nicole Alvarez Daniel Joseph Angulo Joseph Dylan Antonaccio. William Andres Arbelez. Manuel Orlando Arroyo. Christian Charles Estudo. Brianna Alicia Baker. Maria Pia Barisain. Jaden 
Adrian Johnny Bethea. Rosalia Marie Betts. Mira Sophia Bassesi. Kira Mackenzie Bassett. Erica Dawn Black. Ryan Anson Borden. Tierra Marie Boykins. Janai Avine Broom. Ariella Danitza Burgos. Jeffrey David Burley. Paul Anthony Capacetti. Christopher Henry Caruso. Emily Catherine Casal. Ashley Marie Castaneda. Cameron Bree Castellano. Jonah Douglas Christensen. Grant Harrison Klimmer. David Alexander Klolinger. Braden Michael Coleman McAfee. Ethan David Coley. Flynn Thomas Conway. John William Coleman IV. Marcellus Sakai Crutchfield. Tony Maroon Dagger. Jack Isaac Dana. Zedric Ethan Cena Dator. Rosario de la Cruz Osario. Xavier Rene de Leon Cologne. Drake Alexander Decker. David Edward Dedick. John Martin Del Rio. Vincent Nicholas DeMarinas. Jacob Diego Echeverri. Isaiah Curtis Elmore. Patricia Clara Evans. William Selden Evans. Evan Alexander Fernandez. Umberto Jose Ferreira. Jake Ryan Faluda. Olivia Catherine Finnegan.
Cameron Marie Floyd. Olivia Kate Nunez Franklin. Anthony Isaiah Frederick. Christopher Eric Fry Jr. Chase St. Michael Gambrell. Tyler Christian Garcia. Cassandra Penaranda Gascon. Julia Elizabeth Gaussi. Charles Joseph Jimborowski. William Fife George. Kyle Fraser Gibson. Alexis Madeline Gerard. Sebastian Gomez. Jairus Cedric Gonzalez. Angelo David Gonzalez. Cassidy Marie Gonzalez. Emily Danielle Gonzalez. Michael William Gonzalez. Ryan Michael Gonzalez. Micah Alexander Goodwin. Joseph Eugene Gowardy. Kennedy Chanel Green. Mason Peter Greif. Brayden Austin Grizafi. Taryn Francis Harpole. Elijah Deshaun Harrison. Hannah Catherine Herbert. Madeline Ray Hermano Soriano. Day Luis Hernandez. Mason Walker Hesselbeck. Mackenzie Ryan Hicks. Jenna Rose Hodge. Jordan Tyler Holloway. David Charles Hoyt. Isabella Jacqueline Eisen. Evan William Israel. Hannah Marie Jacoby. Erica Jean Kennedy. Chance Alexander Kerr. Chandler Corey King.
Isabel Cotill King. Meredith Paige Kipp. Kobe Deshawn Knox. Kian James Knudsen. Connor Hayden Kreger. Noah Stanley Crow. Noah Henry Lamb. William Tyler Landsman. Reese Alexa Lazara. Sean Carlos Little. Sergio Anthony Yopis. Bianca Lacey Lowen. Lauren Olivia Long. Gaetan Fabian Luisant. Jenna Madison Maroney. Delaney Olivia Matson, Dylan Michael McCain, Caitlin Marie McGrogan, Olivia Grace Mendez. Cameron Michelle Menendez. Corinne Nanette Messina. Gabrielle Grace Myers. Isabella Meza. Catherine Eustina McHale. Ashley Nicole Miller. Laura Allison Nealon. Jenny Tan No. Chase Anthony Noriega. Jacqueline Bahun Norinder. Sydney Catherine Norton. Julia Isabella Nowak. Hamina Alejandra Olea. Catherine Pato O'Neill. Kara Nina Pemintuan. Emily Catherine Parker. Samantha Grace Patriaco. Zachary Blaze Paulson. Daniel Eugene Polias. Michael Gabriel Pena. Gabriel Antonio Perdomo Aldana.
Laura Michelle Petrillo. Sierra Rose Pettit. Emily Claire Pope. Marianne Porras Busas. Nicholas David Pressy. Jordan Nicole Pullen. Maximiliano Romeo Quevedo. Lillian Dora Sheridan Regalado. Jayon Ray Reed. Lauren Christine Richardson. Christopher Edwin Rivera. Natalie Rose Robles. Alberta Jean Rudis. Talia Livia Russo. Ryan Daniel Shinsky. Tyler Andrew Shepard. Matthew Peter Scholstad. Mackenzie Lee Sidal. Josephine Dugan Sidor. Joshua Joran Sigamani. Reese Patrick Slater. Rafael Rodolfo Soto. Maggie Josephine Spinato. Kenneth Christopher Suarez. Alexis Marie Tabak. Lauren Christine Tate. D'Angelo Ladon Taylor. Philip Chandler Thomas. Paola Andrea Torres. Catherine Noel Traber. Hayden Taylor Tubbs. Jacqueline Elizabeth Tully. Vanessa Maria Valdez. Ryan Andrew Valenti. Diego Giovanni Vargas. Jackson Paleo Vega. Tony Michael Watson Jr. Kyle James Weedman. Keely Marie Westbrook. Jalen Jerome Williams.
Kaylee James Young. Timothy Marlo Young Jr. At this time, I call upon our principal, Mr. Robert Lees, to complete the awarding of diplomas. By virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of Tampa Catholic High School, I certify that these members of the class of 2020 have completed the graduation requirements of the state of Florida, the Diocese of St. Petersburg, and of Tampa Catholic High School, and are now entitled to receive their diplomas as the 56th graduating class from Tampa Catholic. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Tampa Catholic graduates from the class of 2020. One of the special joys of graduation time is the opportunity it presents us to recognize the achievement of our graduates. At this time, we want to recognize several groups of students who awards were presented directly by the organizations concerned. The National Hispanic Recognition Program. About 4,000 National Hispanic Scholars in the United States have been recognized for their outstanding academic achievement. These students are in the top 2.5% of Hispanic American students on the PSAT and MSQT. The primary purpose of this program is to bring outstanding students to the attention of colleges and universities to promote their recruitment as well as support. Tampa Catholic is proud to acknowledge Marianne Porras Busas as a 2020 National Hispanic Scholar. Congratulations. Every year, the Tampa Bay Times publicly honors the top high school graduates in Hillsborough County. The following students are to be acknowledged for this achievement. Ashley Marie Castaneda, Julia Isabella Nowak, Catherine Pato O'Neill, Cara Nina Pimentuin, Marianne Porras Busas. The President's Education Award for Excellence. The President's Education Awards Program, established by the U.S. Department of Education, recognizes and honors students' outstanding educational achievement for their academic efforts and success. According to the selection criteria as established by the President's Education Awards Program, the students receiving this award have all earned the required 3.5 or higher GPA at the end of the seventh semester. In addition, students have either scored in the 85th percentile or higher in math or reading on the SAT or ACT, or they've received the recommendation from faculty and staff. This honor is bestowed to 95 of our graduating seniors. You will receive your certificate along with your diploma. The Florida Bright Future Scholarships. The names of the students who have met the criteria for the Florida Bright Future Scholarships based on the seventh semester evaluation have been submitted to the Florida Department of Education in Tallahassee. The first and highest level is the Florida Academic Scholar Award. This Scholar Award is designated for students with a 3.5 weighted GPA, either a 29 on their ACT or a 1290 on their SAT and have completed 100 service hours during their high school matriculation. All of these students will receive 100% tuition and fees in a specified award amount established by the Florida Legislature. The second level of academic award is the Florida Medallion Scholars Award. This Scholar Award is designated for students with a 3.0 weighted GPA, either a 26 on their ACT or an 1170 on their SAT and have completed 75 service hours during their high school matriculation. 
All of these students will receive 75% of their tuition and fees in a specified award amount established by the Florida Legislature. The following students are eligible for the Florida Medallion Scholar Award. Academy Appointments. I'd like to introduce Major Charles Cook, retired, who will present an Academy appointment for David Hoyt for the United States Military Academy Prep School. I am Charles Cook and I am the USMA Admissions Officer for Florida's 14th Congressional District for the Director of Admissions at the United States Military Academy at West Point. The United States Military Academy at West Point is our nation's premier leadership development institution. Its mission is to develop leaders of character, committed to the values of duty, honor, country, and prepared for career professional excellence and service to the nation as an officer in the United States Army. Cadets at West Point receive education, training, and care valued at over $434,000 covering tuition, room, board, medical, as well as a monthly stipend. Each cadet will complete a demanding academic, physical, character, and leader development program in a moral, ethical environment embodied by West Point's honor code. A cadet will not lie, cheat, steal, or tolerate those who do. Upon graduation, cadets are awarded a Bachelor of Science degree in one of over 40 academic areas and commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Army. However, in spite of David Hoyt's best efforts, the direct path to West Point was not possible this year. The extreme competitiveness of this year's entering class, combined with an entering class size of only 1,200, helped to block David from joining the class of 2024. For David, however, West Point was not about to lose such a promising leader. West Point offered, and David accepted, an opportunity to attend the United States Military Academy Preparatory School. We call it USMAPS or the West Point Prep School. By attending USMAPS and doing what is required to complete the 10-month USMAPS program, David will join West Point's class of 2025 in June 2021. So David, on behalf of the Director of Admissions at the United States Military Academy, I'm pleased to present you with your placement certificate to USMAPS, Class of 2021. Congratulations to you and your parents. Go Army, beat Navy. Go Chief. Thanks, sir. And, and this, this reads, the Admissions Committee of the United States Military Academy takes great pleasure in announcing the selection of David Charles Hoyt to the class of 2021 at the United States Military Academy Preparatory School, West Point, New York. Upon successful completion of the required course of study, it is the intent that he will join the class of 2025 on June 28, 2021 at the United States Military Academy at West Point. Thanks, sir. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Do well. Will do. I'd also like to acknowledge that Gaetan Louisant received a letter of insurance to attend the United States Air Force Academy. Congratulations. I am very pleased and proud to announce that 100% of the graduating class of 2020 plan to attend college. As of today, the class of 2020 has been awarded scholarships totaling $7,901,200 Please join me in congratulating each student whose accomplishment has been recognized. National Merit Scholar. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an academic competition for recognition and scholarships. Last year, more than 1.7 million members of the Class of 2020 took the first step in the National Merit Scholarship Program by taking the PSAT. About 34,000 of the highest scores are named Commended Scholars. Tampa Catholic is proud to announce that two members of the Class of 2020 have been recognized as National Merit Commended Scholars, Catherine O'Neill and Mary Ann Porras Busas. Tampa Catholic High School honors an outstanding senior in each curricular area with a Departmental Excellence Award. Each award will be presented by a representative from the department. The Blessed Edmund Rice Award is designed to recognize a TC student who typifies the qualities and virtues of Blessed Edmund Rice, the founder of the Christian Brothers 
and the patron of Tampa Catholic. Blessed Edmund was a holy man, a scholar, and a man of humble service. Our medal winner has a firm belief in God and could frequently be seen in our chapel before school at the 730 Mass. He is a member of several national honor societies, and he has generously volunteered his time and talent by getting involved in numerous service projects over the years, especially working with the elderly residents of John Knox Village Retirement Home. As a leader, he played varsity basketball for TC as well as varsity football, and his fellow athletes held him in high esteem for his ability to motivate them and to give their very, very best. This young man has achieved an appointment to the United States Air Force Academy, where he will soon dedicate himself to serving God and his country with his dedicated service. Our medal recipient has truly modeled the virtues of Blessed Edmund Rice in an extraordinary way during his years at Tampa Catholic. And for this reason, we are pleased to present the winner of this year's Blessed Edmund Rice Award to Gaetan Lusant. Congratulations, Gaetan. The Excellence in Art Education Award is given to a student who has excelled in all of the art classes offered at Tampa Catholic High School, pottery, drawing, and is featured in this year's Christian Brothers Art Exhibition. This year's recipient displays creativity, imagination, and determination. This student has demonstrated the ability to think outside the box and use her creative skills to create outstanding works of art. Like all great artists, there were times when the idea was in place, but lots of brainstorming as well as trial and error had to come into play to make an idea become a reality. This student has demonstrated a tremendous amount of competence, skill, and mastery of craftsmanship, especially navigating through the efforts of creating an art school portfolio, always choosing challenging subject matter that required more time and extra work. This student is innovative and continuously searching for new avenues of creative expression, creating work that exemplifies thoroughness in craftsmanship and perseverance in production. Furthermore, the excellent behavior, positive attitude, and cheerful cooperative spirit displayed daily embody the qualities of a truly motivated and engaged Tampa Catholic High School art student. We all wish this student the best as she pursues architecture at the University of Miami in the upcoming year. Ms. Laura Petrillo. The Excellence in Social Studies Award goes to a senior who throughout four years at Tampa Catholic has demonstrated the qualities of an outstanding global citizen. This student has a love of the subject which has been displayed and exhibited in a myriad of ways by being a responsible, reflective decision maker. This year's senior recipient is an AP scholar who has enthusiastically excelled in all social studies courses. Her dedication to the study of AP U.S. history and AP U.S. government and politics distinguished her as a role model and served to challenge and inspire her classmates. The recipient has an unweighted GPA of 3.78 in all social studies courses and is a member of Rho Kappa. This student exemplifies the purpose of social studies education. She has acquired the knowledge, skills, and disposition to lead a prosperous civic life. Next year, she will go on to the University of Georgia, majoring in political science and international affairs with a minor in Spanish. She is planning on going to law school after college and settling in DC. As Aristotle said, excellence is a habit. It is now my honor to present the award to Josie Sador. The Excellence in Mathematics Award this year is presented to a student who has currently earned A's in every semester of every math course taken, including two AP courses. Last year, the student passed the AP Calculus AB exam, and this year sat for the AP Calculus BC exam. 
She is known for being a diligent and hard worker. She pays close attention <clears throat> to details in class and effortlessly transfers her knowledge to different and unique situations. Her list of associations is larger than time permits. But here's a short list. During her senior year, she was a SHAPE senior, the president of the Spanish National Honor Society, secretary for the Senior Class Student Government Association, a member of the Beta Club, and participated in the Math Honor Society, New Alpha Theta. She was also a member of the Science Bowl team, the Life Club, and has worked in the campus ministry for the last two years. This year's math award goes to Marianne Porras Buzas. The recipient of the Excellence in Science Award is an extremely intelligent and hardworking student who has always shown an enthusiastic passion for science throughout her years at Tampa Catholic. She was our Vice President of the STEM Club. She has been on Science Bowl and our Brain Bowl teams. She has explored an interest in bioethics and biotechnology. All of her science teachers have said that they believe she will flourish in her science classes at the university level. The Excellence in Science Award is presented to Ms. Ashley Castaneda. Congratulations. The recipient of the Excellence in Spanish Award is an exceptional student who has shown great enthusiasm for, love of, and dedication to the study of the Spanish language and culture. This candidate has studied Spanish during all her high school years, including AP. She maintained an A average in all her years of Spanish education and has been a dedicated member of the Spanish National Honor Society and an active member of the Spanish Club. She has also dedicated her time to prepare for and participate at the Spanish state competitions, where she has received numerous outstanding awards that demonstrate her proficiency in the all aspects of the Spanish language. In the future, she would like to study abroad a Spanish-speaking country. The recipient of the Excellent in Spanish Award is Erika Black. The Excellence in French Award is earned by a student who demonstrates great passion and high scholastic standards for the French language and culture. This year, the recipient of this award is an exceptional student who has shown great enthusiasm, love, and dedication to the study of French. From her first week in French class, she has always gone above and beyond to learn the beautiful French language. She has maintained an average of 98% or higher in all eight semesters of French education. For four years, she has dedicated time and effort to participate and to prepare for many individual and group competitions at the French state competitions, where she has received numerous awards and has demonstrated her proficiency in all aspects of French. This student has been an active member of both French Club and French National Honor Society, where she has served as treasurer, historian, and this year as the president of the society. During her years in office in both French Club and French National Honor Society, she has demonstrated excellent leadership, responsibility, and dedica dedication, and has helped organize many activities for all French students to enjoy. Her love for French is evident every day. I am very proud to announce that this year's Excellent in French Award recipient is Jimena Olaya. This year's 
2020 Theology Award is, is very special. We are so excited to award this to this particular student because of the beautiful growth we've seen in this individual. She has set aside time to help lead liturgy with music um, for the entire campus. She has practiced and set aside time to lead adoration in hopes of drawing students deeper into that special mystical prayer. Um, so her heart is for helping bring God's kingdom here presently. She is a true seeker for Jesus. Um, she has, throughout the years that she's been at Tampa Catholic, come to see the theology teachers before school, after school, um, to figure out ways to better evangelize her own friends and family. This is very significant. So she's taken her faith from a point where it's you know, entrusted to her from her parents and she's embraced it spiritually, but she has taken it to a practical level and she is attempting to draw others to Christ with her efforts. In her social justice class, she has written boldly and powerfully for hot button social justice issues such as um, abortion and sex trafficking. So she has taken her Catholic faith and allowed it to envelop and invade every aspect of her life. And this, this is what makes our recipients so unique and so special. It is my honor and my privilege to award the 2020 Theology Award for Tampa Catholic High School to Gabrielle Myers. Congratulations, honey. The Excellence in Physical Education Award exemplifies the best qualities in physical education through leadership, teamwork, sportsmanship, and enthusiastic participation in sports. This, year, this year's recipient possesses the knowledge and skills of sports, activities, and games. She loves to compete, never fails to help others, is reliable and dependable, and she has an outstanding sense of sportsmanship on and off the field. This year's Excellent and Physical Education Award goes to Cameron Menendez. Congratulations. Hello Tampa Catholic, it's great to be out here on our athletic field presenting our Scholar Athlete Awards. Our Women's Scholar Athlete Award is given to a senior who's ranked in the top half of her class academically and exemplifies achievement in the field of athletics. This year's recipient has a 3.67 grade point average, taking honors classes all four years and AP classes her junior and senior year. This young lady ran cross country early in her high school career, but then focused on soccer. On the soccer field, she has an uncanny playing ability, great vision for the ball. She had great touch with her passing and scoring ability. She was a team captain because of the great leadership that she showed. She's got a great attitude, was always positive and willing to listen. Her coach says she's an admirable young lady in every sense of the word. She will be continuing her academic and soccer career with a scholarship that she received from Wowen University in New Jersey. I'm very happy to present our female Scholar Athlete Award to Emily Casale. Congratulations, Emily. And now our male Scholar Athlete Award goes to one of our top senior male students performing very high academically in the classroom and exemplifies achievement on the, in the field of athletics. This year's recipient has a 3.8 grade point average, taking several AP courses, is a member of several of our honor societies here at TC, scored 1,330 on the SAT test. 
He volunteered for over 100 hours of community service. On the athletic field, he excelled in two sports, soccer and baseball. This year, he scored 31 goals and assisted on another 28 in soccer, both highs in Hillsborough County. He has an amazing 159 points in his four-year career on the soccer field. Individual accomplishments were small compared to him leading his team to the best record in Tampa Catholic history and a spot in the state championship game. Besides soccer, this young man also excelled in baseball. He led the team in stolen bases, batting average, and runs scored. Let's also mention that he was homecoming king. He has accepted a scholarship to continue his academic and baseball career at the University of Notre Dame. The Male Scholar Athlete Award is presented to Tony Watson. Congratulations, Tony. The Excellence in English Award is earned by the student who recognizes and values the power and worth of literature and language, as well as thinks critically. And if it is true that a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies, then this year's recipient has already lived lives, more lives than most of us, while striving to satisfy his voracious reading appetite. An active participant in honors and AP English classes, as well as book club, his repertoire spans from Jane Austen to James Joyce to David Foster Wallace. When we were last on campus, he was found working his way through the poetry books on Mr. Bellamy's shelves. Also well-versed in philosophy, he inevitably finds a way to weave philosophical thought into his literary analyses, bringing a collegiate level of thought to his essays. Also a gifted writer, this wordsmith's creativity was evidenced by his papering North Building with his original work, which he later featured at the Festival of Arts. I will now present the Excellent in English Award to Diego Vargas. Ryan Shuck Award. Mr. Ryan Shuck graduated Tampa Catholic High School in the year 2000. Ryan's life was cut short in May of 2013 after a life of physical challenges and handicaps that he battled since a young age. Walking was difficult for Ryan. Although he did not want special treatment, he used a scooter to get around the TC campus and would climb the stairs in the classroom buildings many times each day. Ryan was always on time to his classes and was an honor student. At the 2000 Tampa Catholic graduation, Ryan received a standing ovation from his classmates as he walked to receive his high school diploma. Even after graduation, Ryan was a presence at athletic events and a true crusader. Annually, the Ryan Shuck Award recognizes a graduating senior who has demonstrated the ability to overcome obstacles and or adversity to achieve success, is a positive representative of Tampa Catholic High School, and demonstrates the pursuit of academic excellence. This year's recipient of the Ryan Shuck Award deserves recognition for growing tremendously in his four years as a Tampa Catholic student. At the beginning of high school, he had a fair share of medical issues and was self-conscious about how he would be accepted by other students. He has struggled with anxiety, but has found ways to work through those struggles. He has defied all odds, and by senior year, he was performing in our theater production. As one faculty member stated, he never portrayed himself as a victim or expressed anger or disappointment because his medical condition limited his physical opportunities. His kindness, sensitivity, gentle nature, and level of depth and sincerity is to be admired, celebrated, and revered. He is now college bound and possesses all of the resources necessary to be successful, productive, and a dynamic member of his generation. Hello, I'm Pat Shuck. I have the honor this year to present the Ryan Shuck Award. The Ryan Shuck Award is given uh, in honor of my son, who graduated in 2000, who worked extra hard to uh, get his grades and uh, worked hard uh, all his time at TC. 
and each year we give this award to the crusader who uh, is graduating, who has come a long way, worked hard, and has achieved academically. And this year we're giving the uh, Ryan Chuck Award plus a $500 scholarship to Matthew Schulstedt. Congratulations, Matthew. The valedictorian is the graduating senior with the highest grade point average as calculated at the end of the eighth semester of high school. It is my pleasure to announce that Mary Ann Porras Busas, who earned a cumulative GPA of 4.60, has attained this honor. Mary Ann is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Enrique Porras. She is a National Hispanic Scholar, a National Merit Commended Scholar, an AP Scholar with Distinction, a recipient of the President's Education Award for Excellence, and has earned the Bright Futures Florida Academic Scholar Award. Mary Ann will pursue a degree in biomedical engineering at Florida International University as a member of the university's Honors College. I now present the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Mary Ann Porres Busas. Mr. Lees, members of the TC administration, faculty and staff, family, friends, and my fellow graduates, good evening. I want to start off by congratulating my peers. We did it, guys. After what can easily be considered a hectic end of the year, we finally finished. These past four years have been filled with hard work, dedication, and so many special memories we have made together. Few people get to know they made history. Typically, people live their lives and hope that some part of what they lived is remembered. Unlike most people, we know that the class of 2020 has made history. The question is, how will history remember us? Will we be known as a, heart, as a class whose hearts were broken by the cancellation of prom, grad bash, and a postponed live graduation? Or will we be known as a class that made the best out of difficult circumstances? The class that laughed when we changed our Zoom call backgrounds? The class that smiled when teachers came to our houses to drop off signs? The class that threw their own proms? The class that showed their school spirit through TikTok dances? The class who felt united in their separate homes as we celebrated the baccalaureate mass. The class that drove through school and saw their joyful teachers one last time. The class that went to school with their graduation gear and masks on to take a Photoshop picture with Mr. Lees. The faithful family of the class of 2020 will be known for this and so much more. One of the most important qualities of the class of 2020 is the ability to persevere. Four years ago, we walked onto campus as kids. Since then, we have been angry, we have laughed, we have smiled, we have cried, and everything in between. We have faced hurricanes, different grading systems, school shootings in our state, and now a pandemic. But despite the hard times, we have come out stronger. As we head our separate ways as adults, I ask you all to remember that you will persevere. No obstacle or difficulty has ever stopped us before, nor will they stop us in the future. I can't say that life outside of TC will be easy, but what I can say with certainty is that each and every one of us will persevere. We will overcome anything we face. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. We are a strong, faithful community, and with God, there's no limits on what we can achieve. I hope that you all hold on to your faith. When times get tough and we think we will not persevere, faith is what can pull us out of that darkness. Let your faith guide you and ground you, for it will never leave you astray. I hope that years from now we will still remain united by that same faith that binds our community today. As we say goodbye, I want to tell my fellow, fellow graduates that I wish you happiness and joy in whatever path you may take from here. You are so deserving of being happy, and even if things don't go as you first planned, I hope that you all find joy. I want to close out by saying congratulations to you all, and good luck. I am so excited to see what the future holds for us, Class of 2020.
It is my pleasure now to invite Mr. Robert Lees to give the principal's address. Good evening, parents, faculty, guests, friends, and most especially the Tampa Catholic Class of 2020. Since this global pandemic started, the Class of 2020, like seniors throughout the country, has been at the forefront of our thoughts. This is not what any of us wanted for you. You deserve so much more from your senior year. I only hope that you can appreciate the love we feel for you and that we're doing our very best to make some positive memories during this very unusual and troubling time. One thing I know for certain, you will never forget your senior year at Tampa Catholic. On this occasion, I'd like to share some personal reflections that I hope will resonate with you. Commencement from high school is both an end and a beginning. I would like to focus my remarks on your new beginning. As you leave Tampa Catholic, I want to share some of my hopes and aspirations with you. To do this, I'd like to use an analogy. One of today's great modern conveniences is the common use of GPS maps, Google Maps, Apple Maps, Waze. And when you open these apps, the first thing that happens is that your location pops up, where you are. Prior to GPS and electronic maps, we all used paper maps. And the one thing about a paper map it was is that you didn't know your location like you do with GPS. So if you did not know your location, the paper map was rendered useless. If you did not know where you were, the map would not help. And in a similar, similar way, when you map your future, if you don't know where you are, or more precisely who you are, you will never be able to find your destination. And in order to do that, you must work on you. You must find out who you are. Working on you may sound easy, but it's a lifetime of work. It comes with challenges. When you work on you, you cannot lie or deceive. No one can hide from themselves. Like the map, there's roadblocks, construction that derails your journey. Sometimes you get rerouted and it delays you. And if you're lucky, you may even have a passenger, a fellow traveler, who can help you navigate. But ultimately, it falls on you to get to this destination. There are no shortcuts, and getting to your final never destination may never be fully realized. But taking this journey is crucial. I'd like to suggest three steps to guide you on this journey. Finding your purpose, growing intellectually, and maturing spiritually. Humanity's greatest questions are not going to be solved here, but we should all wrestle with these questions. What is my purpose? What is a successful life? Why am I here? And when you ask people these questions, the most common response is that they want happiness. And then they even tick off a list of things that they think will make them happy. Career, marriage, kids, home, wealth, security, or fame. And this has always struck me as odd. For sadness and despair is as much a part of life as happiness and joy. And the one thing I can say for certain, we experience in them all. A true purpose means so much more than that. And to identify that purpose is one of life's great quests. It's something that we should struggle with daily. It's critical that we orient ourselves toward our purpose. Just like a paper map, though, it is useless if we don't know where you are, and it is also useless if you don't know where you're going. A second step in finding you is to grow intellectually. We all need to work on education, but education must be more than just training for a job. True education is working for enlightenment, to seek wisdom and depth of thought. We live in the information age, but it's also an age of disinformation. Intellectual growth takes time, exposure to philosophy, history, theology, great literature, debate, and more. Too often, we've replaced these with speed and sound bites. One of today's great ironies is that we have never before had so much intellectual capital available to us and have so few take advantage of it. Instead, we read to confirm biases and not challenge our preconceptions. With that, so many of our fellow citizens have morphed into a type of intellectual and political tribalism. We see it every day on TV and social media. We are all blessed with a wealth of knowledge and collective wisdom, but so few take advantage and explore the treasure that has been bequeathed to us. We have replaced the hard but enriching work of intellectual discovery with tweets and posts. And as a result, 
We are lost in a superficial understanding or worse, widespread ignorance. Grow intellectually. Push your limits. Read for understanding and depth and find others who will grapple with you to explore important truths. This is an important part of finding you. And finally, our faith requires spiritual development and continual growth. And unfortunately, like intellectual growth, this requires struggle and hard work. So many just stay stagnant. Their faith is as if it were when they were a child, and that will never sustain. This may come as a surprise to the graduates, but as a Catholic high school graduate, you are now among the most theologically educated Catholics in the entire world. With that said, I think an honest introspection of our own, your own theological understanding would lead you to acknowledge that you have a long way to go, as we all do. And this struggle is also part of finding you. It's high stakes. If you fail to grow and mature spiritually, the price you pay is very high. To really find your spiritual self, you must do the opposite sometimes of what our culture values. You must submit and be open to where the gospel will take you. So many Christians will only commit to a certain level, for they know if they're all in, it requires more of them. The gospel is feared for what it may require, so they keep God at arm's length. They reduce the faith to the perfunctory, sacraments as commodities, worship as social or entertainment, and service is only embraced if it brings them self-esteem, accolades, or the esteem of others. We reduce the spiritual to the profane. Do this at your own peril. This is a recipe for spiritual barrenness that will keep us from the peace of God that surpasses all understanding as promised by St. Paul in his letter to the Philippians. The truth is that the grace we receive comes with a price, but it comes with an ultimate reward as well. Keeping a primitive, childish understanding of faith is safe, but it keeps us from the rewarding peace promised by Christ because we don't want to pay the price. Grow spiritually. If you want to experience Christ's inheritance, you must share in his sacrifice. What I have outlined briefly here is not an easy path. It will take a lifetime of struggle, a struggle that I believe you must undertake now. This journey requires you to know where you are and know where you are going. There will be roadblocks, detours, accidents, and hazards, and I hope you have a passenger along the way who can help you navigate, but ultimately it falls on you. If you undertake this journey, however, and you undertake it with faith and humility guided in prayer, I firmly believe that your God will be with you stride for stride and the promise of peace beyond understanding will be yours. May God bless you on this journey. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. On behalf of the administration and faculty, and especially the class of 2020, I would like to thank you all for sharing in our virtual commencement celebration. Please join with the class of 2020 to sing our Tampa Catholic alma mater, led by Madeline Ray Soriano. Thank you all for joining us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. Hail to you, our alma mater, Tampa Catholic High. Let each loyal son and daughter praise her to the sky. Written proudly on her banner, charity and truth, proving to the world around us strength and joy of youth. Hail to Tampa Catholic High School, let your voices ring. Hail to Tampa Catholic High School, loyal comrades.